Right, question 16. Um, here it says, I've slightly rearranged the question so it fits on the uh, on my page here, on my screen. So I'll just put the diagram to the right. It says, it shows the graph of y equals a half x plus 2 and 2y plus 3x equals 12. Use the diagram to solve the same equations and we need to give an x and y. There's only one mark so it's quite easy. Well, the solution is just here where they cross. So we can read off that. The x number is 2, the x coordinate of that point is 2, and the y coordinate is 3. So the solution is 2, 3. Right, it's part B. Find the equation of the straight line which is parallel to this line and passes through the point 0, 4. Well, this line, this is the line y equals a half x plus 2 because it has, if we think back to our y equals mx plus c form for a straight line, we know this m number, not the x, the number in front of the x, the m is the gradient. So r has gradient half, we'll talk about that in a minute, we'll talk about that in a minute. And the c is the y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis. Well, we can see that this line here, the 2, crosses the y at 2 and the half which is our gradient means that every time we move across one square we go up by the gradient so up a half across one up a half across one up a half across one up a half and that line carries on the same so we want to do we want something that's got the same gradient as this so if it's at the same gradient it's going to be parallel but we want it to go through 0, 4. Well, 0, 4 is here. Well, that's convenient because that already is our y-intercept. So if you think about what the line looks like, it's going to go across one, up by the gradient, across one, up by the gradient, which is a half a square, across one, up half a square, across one, half a square, across one, half a square, and so on and so on like that. Now, if we drew this line in, It would look something like that. And you can see that that's parallel. So this here is the line which is parallel to this, has the same gradient, it's parallel, so it's y equals a half x. And then it goes through the point 0, 4, so it goes through this point, so instead of being plus 2 in the end, it's plus 4. There's loads more you can revise about this topic, so you might want to have a look up the y equals mx plus c form of a line, of a straight line, so we'll, we'll get back to that. Okay. But this is the end of this question.